Amy Poehler, thank you for joining 7.30. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. You have just made a, an animated film. Mm -hmm. And given that the stuff that we know you for is being made up to look like other people or being worked on for three hours to be hosting the Golden Globes, it must be a relief to do a movie that you can turn up to in your pyjamas. Yeah, I mean, you know, nowadays when you do an animated film, you're also, like, being recorded at the same time, so you can't quite roll in maybe the way you want to. I play the character of Joy in this new Pixar film, Inside Out, and she's really physical, so I did have to stand up and act out a lot of stuff. So it wasn't as... So you're just jumping around yeah, like a loon. Yeah, it was jumping around. For the sounds. And jumping around. It's hard to play joyful, like, sitting down. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, how was the first day of school? It was fine, I guess. I don't know. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? Did you guys pick up on that? Sure oh, did. Well. Something's wrong. We're gonna find out what's happening, but we'll need support. Signal the husband. When the film starts, Joy, my character's been in charge for the past 10 years, and suddenly Riley, our main setting, is um, growing up and changing. And so it's that part in, uh, in a young person's life when maybe Joy is uh, not at the controls and other emotions are. And it's just a beautiful, simple story about how it's okay to be sad and change is the only thing you can depend on. Live from New York, it's, it's Saturday, Saturday night. Ladies and gentlemen, Amy Poehler. You know, Hillary and I don't agree on everything. Anything. <laughs> I believe that diplomacy should be the cornerstone of any foreign policy. And I can see Russia from my house. I think in Australia, the first time we really cottoned on to Amy Poehler was in 2008, where you had that incredible run um, where Tina Fey was um, impersonating Governor, Governor Sarah Palin, Palin yeah. and you were being Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. and I've got this recollection of that crazy rap that you did mm -hmm. with Sarah Palin you were eight months pregnant doing this completely bonkers rap while she was sitting there really surreal. It was like a Fellini film because I gave birth six days later and to a um, very confused baby I can only assume. <laughs> to a very beautiful baby boy. It was you know what it was a really exciting time to be doing live television live sketch television because anytime you're doing anything political if the country is paying attention it makes things better it makes your jokes better it makes your bits work and so it was great that we were in like a very uh, uh, truly uh, suspenseful time in American politics and I just happened to be also carrying a person inside me at the same time. Yeah. It was really sci-fi. <laughs> it was it was cool. You know, um, women have always been in the minority and on Saturday Night Live and you've had a, a, a long um, comedic career starting with improv uh, in Chicago. I guess if you make a living from impersonating people, then the greatest opportunities happen when there are women to be impersonated, right? So in some ways, that 2008 primary and campaign was like a huge stimulus package for women in comedy, right? Absolutely. I, I mean, I don't consider myself an impersonator, certainly, but what was wonderful at the time is there were so many women um, in the discussion and so women, many women we could play. And then, frankly, we played a lot of men, too, when I was on SNL. You know, I, we played... Your beard work is exemplary, of course. You're <laughs> right. famous for it. Thank you. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> I, I have worn a beard in my time. Um, uh, but just for, for, you know, for my personal life, not for the television. But, um, <laughs> but I... Uh, uh, yeah, so it was, you know, I, when I was at Saturday Night Live and, uh, and the show now is populated with such strong female voices, so it was a really great time to be there, to be dropped in there. And now it's time for the latest installment of Women's News with special women's news correspondent, Tina Fey. Thank you, Amy. I think we can all agree that it's a great time to be a lady in America, and not just because of that new yogurt that helps you poop. <laughs> it may be just me, but it seems um, that 
US comedy as being sort of really vigorously populated by women who aren't, who are writing their own stuff. Um, it's not kind of man related, it's, it's often quite friendship based mm. and to me that seems like a, um, a movement. I mm -hmm. mean, and particularly when you see you and um, Tina Fey kind of taking over the Golden Globes, it looks like the industry is kind of being handed to you. Well, nothing's been handed. No, okay. Um, no. But Good but point. but I hear what you're saying, which is very cool. Which is, and I agree, and and I'm excited about it. Which More is like the you idea. the controls. Yeah, well, I think that there's a lot of incredibly talented women in television and film, um, who are getting to kind of express their specific points of view. I think, whether it be people of color or um, uh, a different gender or a different political or. Uh, social or sexual orientation, whatever it is, different voices in a room makes uh, uh, makes me excited. And I think right now our country especially is kind of excited and looking for that. So it's a great time. It's a really bountiful time. You know, a number of big movies use prosthetic genitals this year. Blue is the warmest color, The Wolf of Wall Street, Saving Mr. Banks. Yes, a lot of people don't Tom Hanks was wearing one the entire time. He's wearing one right now, actually. He's really enjoying it. Look at it. Who will take the reins for the Golden Globes? Is it just, do, you, do you worry that the fun police are going to arrive and stop you? It must be such a feeling of power to just have all of that attention to just lampoon anyone in the room of this sort it's of It's pretty fun. Industry. It's pretty fun. You know, it's, it's a fun gig. It's weird that everyone in the audience is famous. But other than that, it really is... It is, and I don't mean to minimize it, but it's just an award show. That's really all it is. So you just have to kind of remember, keep keep your sense of what you're doing and what it is. I mean, Australians know that very well. They don't take themselves very seriously. They're very good at teasing each other, and they love that. That's what I love about the people here is they really like taking the piss out of people. And we do. Yeah. Thank you for coming in to take some uh, in Australia. It's a great honor to have you oh, here. Oh, it's, it's my pleasure. And thank you for agreeing to be my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do I have to sign something? Uh, sure, we'll take care of the paperwork. Okay, right terrific. Thank Agreed. You. Okay, thanks, Annabelle. <laughs>